Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The BRP Jose Rizal, hull number FF-150, is a modern warship of the Philippine Navy that represents a significant leap forward in the country's naval capabilities. When people hear about this vessel, they often get curious because it's not just another ship, it's the first purpose-built missile-capable frigate of the Philippines, marking a milestone in their naval modernization efforts. Built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea and commissioned into service in 2020, the Jose Rizal class frigates were designed to be versatile, powerful, and capable of handling a wide spectrum of missions at sea. To put it simply, this ship was made to serve as a true workhorse of the Navy, offering both advanced technology and practical functionality. In terms of design, the BRP Jose Rizal has a sleek, modern silhouette, optimized for stealth features. That means its shape and materials are intended to reduce its radar signature, making it harder to detect by enemy systems. The hull and superstructure follow an angular design, with minimal exposed equipment, which helps in deflecting radar signals. This is a design philosophy shared by most modern naval combatants, making the Jose Rizal stand shoulder to shoulder with more advanced navies around the world. At about 107 meters long and displacing around 2,600 tons at full load, it is not among the largest warships globally, but within its size class, it offers an impressive balance of agility and firepower. Performance-wise, the ship is powered by a combined diesel and diesel CODAD propulsion system. It has four diesel engines that allow it to reach speeds of up to 25 knots, which translates to around 46 kilometers per hour. While this may not sound particularly fast compared to aircraft or even high-speed ferries, for a heavily armed frigate it is more than sufficient, and it ensures that the vessel can keep pace with regional counterparts. Its range is also notable, capable of covering about 4,500 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 15 knots, meaning it can sustain long-duration patrols and deployments without the need for frequent refueling. For a country like the Philippines, which has vast maritime borders and a complex archipelago to defend, that endurance is absolutely critical. When it comes to weapon systems, the Jose Rizal packs a respectable arsenal. At the bow, the ship mounts a 76mm Oto Malara Super Rapid Naval Gun, a versatile weapon capable of engaging surface, air, and even some missile threats. Behind that, you'll find provisions for surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missiles. Initially, the ship was delivered in a so-called, fitted for but not with, state, meaning that while the ship has space and infrastructure to host advanced missile systems, they weren't all installed at delivery due to budgetary constraints. However, over time, the Philippine Navy has been working to add these capabilities. The ship is designed to carry anti-ship missiles such as the South Korean-made SSM-700 KC Star, which can deliver lethal strikes against surface targets at significant ranges. For close in defense, it features 30mm guns controlled by remote weapon systems, and it can also be fitted with a close in weapon system CIWS like the Phalanx for last ditch missile defense. The ship also comes with torpedo launchers, providing an anti submarine capability, which is a critical aspect of modern naval warfare. Supporting these offensive and defensive weapons is an advanced combat management system that integrates sensor data and allows the crew to make quick, informed decisions in the heat of battle. This makes the ship not just a collection of weapons but a cohesive fighting unit capable of handling threats from the air, sea surface, and beneath. The Waves A key feature of the BRP Jose Rizal is its sensor suite. It is equipped with a modern 3D air and surface search radar, hull-mounted sonar, and electronic warfare systems that help in detecting, tracking, and countering threats. The radar can track multiple targets simultaneously, giving the crew an advanced warning of incoming aircraft or missile threats. Electronic warfare equipment allows the ship to jam or deceive enemy sensors, improving survivability. Combined with its stealthy design, this makes the ship a difficult target for adversaries to engage successfully. Another significant element of the Jose Rizal class frigates is their aviation capability. The aft section of the ship has a flight deck and hangar that can support the operation of a medium-sized helicopter, such as the A-159 Wildcat. This dramatically extends the ship's reach, allowing it to conduct anti-submarine patrols, maritime surveillance, and even search and rescue missions at distances far beyond the ship's immediate radar coverage. 
Helicopters can also be equipped with torpedoes and sensors, multiplying the ship's ability to detect and neutralize submarine threats. This air-sea integration is vital in modern naval operations, where having a helicopter on board essentially acts as a force multiplier. From a crew standpoint, the Jose Rizal is designed to house around 65 to 110 personnel, depending on mission requirements. The living quarters are more modern and comfortable compared to older Philippine Navy ships, which is an important factor for maintaining morale during long deployments. Automation in various ship systems also helps reduce crew workload, making operations more efficient and less taxing. In terms of unique selling points, the BRP Jose Rizal stands out for its combination of affordability and advanced features. For the Philippines, which historically operated aging secondhand ships from other navies, acquiring a brand new purpose built frigate represents a giant leap forward. It shows a shift from relying on hand me downs to investing in modern platforms tailored to their specific defense needs. While it may not carry the same level of weaponry as top tier destroyers or larger frigates from major naval powers, it brings a balance of stealth, sensors, weapons, and endurance at a fraction of the cost. This makes it highly practical for a developing nation that still needs credible maritime deterrence. Another notable aspect is its role in international cooperation. Since its commissioning, the BRP Jose Rizal has participated in various multinational naval exercises, including the Rim of the Pacific Exercise RIMPAC, which is the largest international maritime warfare exercise. These deployments not only improve interoperability with allied navies but also showcase the Philippines' growing ability to contribute meaningfully to regional security. This makes the Jose Rizal not just a weapon of war but also a diplomatic tool, strengthening partnerships and projecting a more credible naval presence. When we consider the broader picture, the ship also symbolizes national pride. Named after Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines, the vessel carries cultural and historical weight, reminding its crew and citizens alike that defending sovereignty is tied to the legacy of those who fought for independence and freedom. This symbolic naming is a powerful way to inspire confidence and determination both within the Navy and among the Filipino people. To summarize, the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 may not be the largest or most heavily armed ship in the world, but it represents a careful balance of modern design, practical capabilities, and cost-effective procurement. Its stealthy lines, versatile weapons, advanced sensors, and aviation facilities make it a highly capable platform for defending the Philippine archipelago, securing sea lanes, and participating in international security efforts. For a navy that has long been under-equipped, the arrival of the Jose Rizal-class frigates is a step into the modern era, offering not just hardware but also a symbol of progress and sovereignty. It is a warship that embodies both function and meaning, designed not only for combat but also for the broader mission of ensuring maritime security in a region where such capabilities are increasingly vital.